model principles. Principles are a popular way of expressing commitment to certain ideas. As used, the principles can bring us a step, a step closer to understanding educational sustainability. These principles offer a starting point for addressing sustainability at the educational levels. Whether one uses them as presented or interpret them so that they reflect one's educational needs in particular. They act as touchstone for all who may be involved in educational sustainability initiatives in terms of growth and development of the economy. Now, let us look at the educational planning system uh, and the general planning system, the models that is being uh, used. That is model principle in educational planning. What are these model principles that are used in educational planning? One, educational planning system recognizes that growth occurs within some limits and is ultimately limited by the carrying capacity of the environment. Again, educational planning value cultural diversity. Educational planning has respect for other life forms and supports biodiversity. Educational planning has shared values among all the educational stakeholders. As we may be saying, promoted through sustainability education. Educational planning employs ecological decision making. For example, integration of environmental criteria into all governmental and personal decision making process. Educational planning makes decision and plan in a balanced, open and flexible manner that includes the perceptive from the social, health, economy and institution since this has a relationship with the environmental sector of the economy. Educational planning makes best use of local efforts and resources such as infrastructural, uh, institutional and structural facilities. Educational planning uses renewable and reliable sources of energy. Educational planning minimizes harm to the natural environment of learners and teachers or the instructor. Educational planning foster activities which use material is continuous cycle thereby ensuring a sustainable education. Educational planning does not compromise the sustainability of future generation by its activity. Therefore, let us now look at the phases of educational planning model. What are the phases of educational uh, planning models. The scientific approach of educational planning models consists of the of um, one judgment phase, two research phase, three action phase. Now, the judgment phase, what does it entail? The judgment phase has to determine the operation, determination of value, objective associated with the operation. It determines the measure of effectiveness and formulation of problem relati relative to the objective. This is what the judgment phase does. That at the research phase, the researcher phase help to cover. You look at the observation and data collection to understand the problem in a correct way. Then you look at the formulation of the hypothesis and model. Now, under the research procedure, again, the testing of the hypothesis and analysis of the available data. Prediction of result from the hypothesis, generalization of results, and consideration of alternative method. These are the phases that comes up under the research phase because you need to have a good background of what the problem is, of what the situations are before you can go on to plan. Then the last stage is the action phase. The action phase here is a uh, is a, is a recommended fix. The first recommendation consists of a clear statement of the assumption made, scope and limitation of each alternative, and also the preferred course of action. So the action phase will have to bring to bear what has been done in the judgment phase, whereby you need to look around 
to determine the operations, to determine the value of objective, to determine the measure of effectiveness and formulation of problem. These are the things that need to happen in the action field. Now let's look at the methodology of educational planning model. The system methodology developed for educational planning model deals with problem involving conflicting and multiple objectives, alternative and policies. The various steps in educational planning model can be uh, can be stated uh, classified as one problem formulation. This is an important phase in which the educational planner team should formulate the formulate the management problem and then translate the problem into a research problem through analysis of the environment, function, communication, control of system, policies, and objective of the institution. Secondly, construction of the mathematical model. At the period of construction of the mathematical model, what comes in include one, determination of decision variables. What are the decision variables from the problem that has been formulated in one? The determination of the problem parameter, constraint imposed as a problem. Formulation of the objective function. Now, constraints equation, physical limitation on the set of decisions. That is the decision variable. Now, deriving the solution from the model. Testing the model is totally control over the solution. Implementation of the solution. Now, these are the phases that you need to go through when you are constructing a mathematical model. The next thing we need to look at is the characteristics of educational planning model. What are the characteristics that need to be put in place when you are planning an educational model? Here, one, you have to look at the educational planning model is the interdisciplinary approach consisting of experts from different disciplines to obtain optimal solution to the problem. The planning, the planning of, of uh, the pl educational planning do not involve just one person. You have to bring different persons from dif different experts from different disciplines that will help to bring the planning to bear. Now, educational planning model uses scientific method establishing by research to reach the optimal solution. Educational planning model provides the quantitative basis for managerial decision making. It takes, to, uh, takes into account the aspects of the problem holistically, using the holistic approach. Educational planning model examines all the function, uh, all the functional relationship in the system. Educational planning model cannot give a perfect solution to the problem. It improves the quality of the solution. Educational planning model gives the optimal solution. That is the best solution under given condition. The solution changes with change in condition. It's not static, depends on the condition. 